Hello and welcome to Quick Tips, the Filmora video editing series. In this video, we will see how to add and download the Boris FX effects plugin in the Filmora 11. Now the Boris FX continuum features are added into Filmora 11. So if you have not upgraded the Filmora to Filmora 11, then do upgrade your Filmora to the latest Filmora 11. The Boris FX is supported in Filmora 11. I have a separate video on how to upgrade to Filmora 11. I'll give you the link in the description box. So here is the Boris FX continuum features. I guess there are six or seven continuum units have been customized for Filmora users. You can see it here. You can go to the effects on Filmora and here you will see the Boris FX option. So you will see the different effects, BCC lights, particles, stylized art, look, blur, plus lights, image restoration. So we will go through all these effects one by one. So I'll be creating separate videos on how these effects work on the actual video. So I'll be creating many more videos on Boris FX. So do subscribe to the channel so that you will get notification whenever I publish new video on Filmora video editing. Now Boris FX is a paid plugin, so you will not get it free. So if you are buying the Filmora for the first time, you will get the seven days free trial of all these plugins and effects. You can see it here. You will get film stock standard, new blue FX, Boris FX and AI portrait. So these plugins are really good. And I do have one year subscription of these effects and plugins. So I'll be creating many more videos on all these plugins and effects. And the monthly subscription price for these plugins is $20.99. So if you are really into video creation, then you can consider for the subscription of all these plugins. So let's see how we can add and install the Boris FX. So I am on the dashboard of the Filmora 11. Here I am on the effects tab and you will see Boris FX option in Filmora 11. Right now it is not downloaded, so it's not going to show you all the options. Total, I can see 91 effects are added into Boris FX and it is not downloaded. So first I need to download and after that I will be able to use all these effects. Click on download now. So I'm going to download this plugin. The file size of this plugin is around 416 MB. So it's going to take some time to download the Boris FX. So I'm going to pause the video and I'll be back after I finish downloading the effects. I think the download has been completed and now it is installing the Boris FX. And while installation, you may get the warning message from uh, your Windows system or the Mac system to allow the Boris FX to install the plugin. So you can simply click on yes and it will start installing the plugin on the Filmora 11. So right now it says Boris FX installing. Okay, so the installation has been completed and after the installation, I got the message to restart the Filmora. So I have just restarted the Filmora. Now let's go back to the effects and here go to the Boris FX. And now you can see that almost 91 effects are available for me to customize on the video. Now let's see how we can apply it on the actual video. So I have got one stock video here. So I'm going to use that. Okay, so this is the video on which we are trying to apply the effect. Now let's go to effects and go to, and we are on the Boris effects. So let me try one of them. Let's see BCC lights and under lights, uh, let's go to this one. Let's try this one. So I'm going to drag it and drop it here. Okay, now it says that we have noticed that you have already purchased the Boris FX effect plugin for Filmora. Now we need to activate the license. So I have already activated it. So I'm going to check this box and click on activate. If I do not do, let's see if I close this and if I play the video, you will see a cross mark actually cross mark on the effect that shows that it is not activated yet. So I'm going to use that activation. So let me drag it again. Now it shows the cross mark. Let me double click on it and go to license and click on activate your license now. So I need to activate the license and I need to enter the activation key here. So let me enter the activation key. So I've got the activation key. I'm going to enter it here. Click next. Okay, it shows that the license has been successfully activated. Click finish. Okay, now I guess I need to restart the Filmora. So I'm going to restart it. So I have restarted the Filmora. Let me get the video again. And now the Boris FX is activated. 
so let's see go to effects and go to effects both is effects and i'm going to use this one let me drag it and let's play the video from here and you can see that there is no cross mark on the effect so it has been activated and now we can use the effects without any problem so in the upcoming videos we will see how all these effects work so before that let me show you how these effects will look on the actual video so here i can see one of the example video for our website how these effects will look so let me play this video so that you will also get the idea how this work These are the sample videos on the Kilmora. So here you will see different effects are shown on the Filmora website. We'll go through all these effects and we will see how to use these effects. So that's it for now. See you in the next video. Do not forget to subscribe to my channel to get more quick tips about online softwares and tools. If you have any questions, please leave us message in comments section. And press the like button if you like the video. Thanks for watching Quick Tips.